Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Are you thinking about building your own PC, but worried that it's gonna be as tricky as Luke Skywalker's mission down the Death Star Trench? Well, fear not. You may not have the spirit of Obi-Wan guiding you as you plug wires into headers not much bigger than a womp rat, but you do have episode four of Avoiding Common PC Building Traps, which I hope will give you some new hope. First off, while the Empire made a huge mistake in connecting the thermal exhaust port to the main reactor, in your case, you want waste heat to exit your computer as directly as possible, which is why you should pay close attention to fan orientation. Specifically, if you're using more than two fans, it's a good idea to create positive air pressure inside your case by using slightly more fans as intakes rather than exhaust. This will force air out of your case more effectively, reducing dust buildup as long as your case is filtered, and it also potentially allows you to run your fans at lower speeds for a quieter computing experience. Otherwise, having the same number of intakes and exhausts, preferably with the latter more towards the top rear of the case since heat rises, is a good safe bet. You can learn more about fan configuration and air pressure up here. And while we're on the topic of thermals, are you using a tower-style air cooler for your CPU? If so, watch your hands while you're installing it or working anywhere near it, such as if you're trying to insert a graphics card below it. These air coolers use a lot of little fins to maximize the surface area that's available to cool down your processor. But to achieve this, the fins are often super thin, meaning they can also be super sharp. And you do not want monochromatic blood harshing your RGB vibes. But let's say you've decided not to bother with that and you go straight to water cooling, specifically a custom loop. You can learn much more about custom water loops in this video. One common trap for folks who are just beginning with liquid cooling though, is that they might buy components made of different kinds of metal. You see, if you buy, for example, a copper CPU block, but an aluminum radiator and put them in the same loop, they'll eventually corrode due to chemical reactions that occur when you mix metals, not only destroying your loop, but also possibly your expensive electronics if water leaks out. Yikes! Leading us to a boring, but incredibly important tip. It seems like every other day we see a build with big money spent on expensive components of questionable utility. And unlike our advice from the last episode to balance the build by avoiding doing things like pairing a $50 CPU with a $500 graphics card, some things are just colossal wastes of money, regardless of how high end the rest of your rig is, like hard drive water blocks, $300 sound cards. At that point, you should really just be getting an external DAC and amp and gaming network cards, which are little more than snake oil. Unless of course you really just want the thing for aesthetics. Finally, no matter what kinds of exotic components you are or aren't using, consider initially building your system outside of the case. Not only does this save you from the hassle of taking everything out if you have to troubleshoot a bad component, it also allows you to more quickly isolate the defective part if your system won't boot. So, do you have any sage advice for new or veteran PC builders? Leave it in the comments below and also let us know if you'd like us to continue the Avoiding Common PC Building Traps series, or if it's time for it to become one with the force. Yeah, we had to sneak that last Star Wars reference in there. And we also need a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is simple, powerful, and beautiful. It lets you build a freaking awesome website that looks great and scales perfectly across any device and anyone can do it. They've got 24 seven support via live chat and email. It starts at just 12 bucks a month and you get a free domain if you buy Squarespace for the year. And they've got tons of great features like commerce, 
Every website comes with a free online store. Cover pages, a feature that allows you to set up a beautiful one-page online presence in minutes. They've got updated analytics. This is cool and this is new. So you can get more detail on visitor demographics and site traffic trends than ever before. And the best part is you can start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website to see if Squarespace works for you today. Then, when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, use offer code TECHWIKI and you can get 10% off. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future videos, and subscribe and enable the bell so you don't miss any of our future episodes.